Hi guys, um, welcome to week 14. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving break and managed to get some rest. Um, so, um, I still need to coordinate, I believe, FYI, that Dr. Manchetti is going to be sitting in on this last part of the PM proficiency exam, just kind of for um, having a second voice in there, you know, and having the supervisor of this course in there, so be aware of that. Um, more information, I don't believe we've settled quite on a date yet, but I will let you know as soon as I know. This week, we're just going to be practicing sight reading as much as we can through multiple things, transposition, that stuff. We're going to start with two harmonizations, so take your book and flip way back to page 48. Okay? We're going to start with 3-13. So take a look over it. Um, I'll let you pause it in a second. I would recommend pausing and setting a timer for um, about as long as you did for last week's assignment and everything. Um, make sure that um, you're checking the key signature, check the time signature, everything, but most of this is on your own. So go ahead, 3-13, pause, and look. Okay, if you have hit play, you're ready to sight read. We set a really nice and slow tempo. I'll set one for you right here. One, two, three. That one's nice and easy because we just go between two chords and make sure you check while you're working on just in, in the middle um, how or what is going to be in your bass. So in this case, we're just doing one to, one, one to five, one to five, that sort of thing. Okay, that's a nice little warm up for the next one. Um, so some practice tips. What I would try to do if for some reason you're crunched for time in the final exam, do exactly what I'm doing and ghost not as fast as I'm doing, but ghost read through the right hand and the left hand chords. You know, and and then see where you're going to have to leap and things like that. Um, I can give you a heads up if you take a look at measure 10 and measure 11. I'm going to probably have to move there, but I will not tell you. But anyways, enough being said, make sure that you look at time signature, key signature, look through it. Um, the left hand is going to be harder to fix than the right hand, I will say that, unless you find yourself really excelling with chords. So decide which hand you might need to spend a little bit more time with. But anyways, go ahead and pause and work on this for about three minutes and then hit play when you're ready. Okay, if you have hit play and you are ready to go, it says vivace, but for sight reading, we never go vivace, we go slow, okay? And try as best as you can to keep going through the entire piece without going back and fixing things, okay? One, two, three, one, two.
So my advice, if you hit a wrong chord, try as best as you can not to fix it. But in this case, you know, if you end up on like, if you accidentally play B instead of B flat and C7 chord, you play, you can change the note in between there. It's not a big deal. Um, especially when you have like, you have the five, three or four measures of F going on. If you hit something wrong and you realize it, keep on it and to the beat of the next measure. Okay. All right. I hope that that sounds good. That's a good harmonization warm up and we will continue sight reading after this video.